me, your boy Coach C, CEO of SFPT. And today's workout of the day is a concentration curl. So we're gonna have our dumbbell. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is place our elbow right here on the front of our quad here. Have an open hand, grab the dumbbell, go right down to the ankle, and we're gonna curl it up, squeeze, come down slowly, pause, and power back up. Come down slowly. So the reason I say when you do a bicep curl, curl fast, and come down slow, because you build more muscle on the eccentric or the downward release motion, okay? As you see, we're working the small head of the bicep, because you know you have two heads in the bicep, okay? And make sure you're not hunched all the way down, and make sure your elbow does not slide in. Keep it about right here, and do your desired amount of reps, all right? So that's one way we can do a bicep curl. The other way we can do is a hammer curl. So our hammer curl, we work the long head. So if you look at my bicep, my bicep, have a short head here, turn it, you see how I turn like that? Long head, turn, short head. So bicep, meaning two, you got one muscle, two muscle, one muscle, two muscle, right? So we take this here, do a hammer curl, come up, squeeze it, come back down. Squeeze it, come back down. So you come up 90 degrees, come back down. You don't do this. You don't lose momentum, you don't rock. You know, you see it a lot of times, and you see the body and stuff like that because it's so heavy. Right, but there's, that's totally something different that they're doing. For your training purposes, form technique, body up straight, back up straight, elbow to the side, elbow pointing outward, pull up, come down. Pull up, come down. Don't rock with your momentum. If you gotta rock with your momentum, it's probably too heavy. Okay, so I just showed you, showed you two movements all right, one for the small head here, the other for the long head here. All right, so that's today's work of the day. I'm Clarence Walton, CEO of SFPT, and I'm out. Guns.